to engage and warm up the whole body. We're going to start with some squat reverse lunge, then row, plank, hip thrust, mountain climbers, prisoner squats, press up, clean and press, bicep curls, burpees, bird dog holds, and then finishing off with some supermans and a little stretch. So we might as well dive straight in. We're going to start with those squat reverse lunges. You can do body weight or add a weight in. I will show you both versions. Let's start with just body weight. So but hip width apart with the feet. We're gonna sit back into the squat. Then we take the left knee back, come into the squat, take the right knee back, come into the squat. Now ideally, you wanna try and not come out of that squat, but if you need to, you can come up to the top, squat down, perhaps take a small lunge back, come back to the top, small lunge back. So you've got a different level to work at. If you have your weights available, you can hold the weight as you do it. Just to add a little bit more challenge in, you're gonna really feel your quads and your glutes, particularly after yesterday's workout. That's it. Really focus on keeping your hips level, core engaged, chest up. Try and get the knee down as low as you can. Come out and take a rest if you need to. That's it, well done. Keep it strong. Try not to fall and collapse into it. It. nice let's do one more each side that's it and then come up and out of it well done a little bit of a shake out we're going to move on to the back now we are going to do the row so softening the knees hinging at the hips chest pointing down towards the floor if you've got a weight drawing your elbows back squeezing the shoulder blades together and then controlling it down you've got two just holding one in each hand, being sure to keep your body nice and still, legs still, try not to drive through the legs as you get tired. So once you're in position, you just stay there, just your elbows drawing back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, controlling it down. Make sure you keep your core engaged so that your lower back stays supported and try and not let your shoulders draw up to your ears. Keep them drawn down as you draw the elbows back. That's it, squeezing it up, controlling it down, body staying still. You need to come up and go back. That's good. We want to focus on that quality, squeezing the elbows back, controlling it down. That's it, let's get two more. And again. And gently release, well done. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do planks. We're heading down to the floor. Unless you want to do it against the wall, a worktop, the sofa, a bed, that's up to you fine. You can just bring yourself up a bit higher. If not, we're going to come down. Either elbows underneath shoulders or hands level with shoulders, and then we're going to come up. You ready? And that's it. So we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, squeeze our glutes. We want to try and create that nice neutral spine throughout. Dropping down or staying on the knees if you need to. You should feel the engagement of your core. Imagine you're just trying to hold in a wee, squeezing your pelvic floor muscles. That's it. Add some more challenge if you need to. You can march with the feet. Make sure you keep the hips level if you do this. You can also choose to tap the shoulders. Again, focusing on making sure you are keeping the hips nice and level, core engaged throughout. Don't sink from side to side. That's it, well done. Keep it tight. Focus on your breathing. Pop down to your knees if you need to. Take a break. Just try and challenge yourself to go a little bit further, but maintain the quality of the position. If you need to rest, do it. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Fantastic, gently release. We're flipping over onto our backs now. That's it, we're gonna do some hip thrusts. So, with nothing, we plant the feet, we engage 
the glutes, we're squeezing to lift up, making a straight line between shoulders, hips and knees, and then coming back down again. Make sure you squeeze the glutes the whole time. That is where we want to focus the work. You can rest the weight across your hips. Make sure you're not pushing into your feet. Try and disengage your quads and hip flexors as much as you can. And really focus on squeezing your glutes. And that's it. Squeeze to lift, squeeze to control down. Squeeze, that's it. And add some resistance with the band as well. That's what you've got. If you've got a small loop, you can pop that on. That's it. Really focus on squeezing those glutes. That's it. Hands can be by your side or up in front of you. Let's get one more. And then gently release. Well done. Okay, flipping back around. Back and rolling today. Mountain climbers now, either on your knees or on your feet. Hands level with shoulders, bringing your knees up underneath you. That's it. Remember, you want to try and keep your hips down. This is the one where the hips like to ride right up into the air. Bring the hips down. Try and keep a nice neutral spine throughout. Weight should be slightly forward into the arms if the hands. That's it. All right, maintain a nice level hip if you can. That's it. Go at whatever pace feels good. Can, if that's too much, you can be doing this. Up here, a little bit like a high knee, or just climbing up to add a bit more into the hands, okay? Well done, keep it going, nearly there. Let's get four more, four, three, two, and one. Gently pressing down, well done. As we're already kind of here, I thought this is a great opportunity to do some prisoner squats. Now, prisoner squats are one of those, hey, waiting, are one of those exercises that you can add in a weight today if you like, hold the weight as you do it. So we're on our knees, we're coming up, standing, taking it back down. You can have your hands here or you can have your hands behind your head. Remember each time what you're doing is you're coming up onto the opposite side first. That's it. So you're kneeling, right foot first, back to kneeling, left foot first. Ideally not coming completely up to standing, but just coming up into that squat. But again, you need to come up to standing to get more used to this position, that is absolutely fine. Work your level, just challenge and push yourself. And that's it. You've got it, keep the chest up, core engaged. Let's get one more each side. That's it, well done. Gently release. You're gonna show us how to do a press up, Raymond. We're going to do a press up next. So again, you can do this against a wall or a worktop or a sofa, if you would like, or we're on our knees. Again, hands level with our shoulders, lowering ourselves down, drive the floor away. That's it, straight into it. Try and push yourself as far as you can. So if you start with your knees quite close, maybe just try and take your feet a little bit further away. If you found you're a bit more confident there now. You can try and work on some negatives. So you can come up onto your toes, lower yourself down, and then push up on your knees. So you're lowering yourself down onto your knees and push back up again. Again, we're trying to focus on getting that nice stretch across the chest. Drive the floor away to come back up to the top. That's it. Going, keep the core engaged. Let's get two more. Yes, fantastic work. Well done. We're going to come up onto our feet. We're going to do some clean and press now. So you can choose to have your weight or your band or do body weight. I'll show you body weight to start with. So you're going to clean up. Bring the weight as if you're bringing the weight up to your shoulders. 
then you're going to press up to the floor. You take it down, up, and push. So if you've got a weight, you've just got one, you can clean it up and push. If you've got one, just switch it each time. That's it, drive it up. If you've got a band, we are going to clean to come up to the shoulders, push above our head, and then take it down. Drive it up, push above the head, that's it. You have a choice with the press, you can come to standing and then drive it up really strict, or you can use a little bit of momentum, drive through the legs. This is the full body one, so there's no reason where you can't just keep a little bit more of a full body exercise here. Make sure the forearms are pointing up to the ceiling, core is engaged, that's it. You've got it. We are flying through these, just a few to go. That's it. Let's get two more. Clean and push. And clean and push. Yes, well done. Okay, bicep curls now. We are gonna isolate the front of our arms. We're gonna tuck our elbows in and then we're curling up and controlling it down. Curling up and controlling it down. If you've got a band, try and create enough tension so that it's a challenge. Keeping your wrist flat, really important to keep your elbows tucked and your wrist flat. It's very easy to start curling like this. That's it. We're just trying to isolate through this part of our arm. Squeezing it up, controlling it down. Squeeze and control. That's it. Well done. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it strict. Don't let your body move, it's going to try and help. Let's get two more. That's it, lovely. Gently release. If you're not hot already, you certainly will be after this one. It's time for my Friday burpees. <laughs> Choose your level. Straight into it. You can either take it down, walk it back into high plank, bring it back up and come to the top. You can choose that. You can take it down. Jump it back, jump it in, jump it up. We want to just keep the quality, keep the hips level, keep the core engaged, and take it right back into that full plank. Doesn't matter how fast you're doing it, just try and push and challenge yourself. You've got it, okay? So you're taking it back and up, nice and explosive, or you're walking it back, walking it in. Maybe a little jump at the top. You don't need to, you want to keep it low impact. Maybe just do one fast one then a slow one, whatever works for you. Just try and do a little bit more than you did last week. That's it, let's get two more. Well done. Yes, good job. Okay, two more to go. We're back down to the floor. We're gonna go on to our knees, making a tabletop four point kneeling. And we're gonna do bird dog holds. We're gonna take our left leg back and our right arm forward. Maintaining balance throughout, we don't want to shift our weight across. So squeezing our core, left foot back, right arm forward. Pause, gently bringing it back down. Now we switch, right foot back, left hand forward. Pause at the top and then draw it back down. Switching sides, hold and then gently bring it down, and switch, hold, and bring it back down. And again, switch, hold, that's it, well done. And again, really try and hold that balance, feel your core engaging. Nice, one more each way, pause, gently bring it down, last one, reach, and back down. Okay, nice way to finish off. Let's lower down. We're going to work our lower backs for Superman. So you can have your hands by your sides, just gently lifting up into a small back bend. Squeeze and engage your lower back to lift up and then control it down. Or you can add a little bit more. You can reach your arms forward to extend the length of your body and squeeze up and 
and roll it down. Don't force it any further than it wants to go. Squeeze and engage. Squeeze and engage. Well done. Two more. Squeeze, control it down. Squeeze and control it down. Fantastic. Let's just sit back into child's pose, sitting back onto the heels, pressing the forehead down, reaching the fingertips out in front of you, just releasing the lower back after it's worked just then. Allow yourself to take a few nice deep breaths. Coming up into the kneeling position, Let's pop the hands on the small of the back, squeeze the elbows together to open up through the chest. That's it. Gently opening with our nice deep breaths. And then gently release, coming up onto our feet, letting our head hang heavy to release through the back and through the legs. That's it. Slowly coming up, we'll just do a very quick quad stretch too, taking hold of the left foot. That's it. Remember, if you want to spend a bit more time stretching, you can just head back to one of the previous sessions um, where you can spend a little bit longer going through all the, all the positions, practice them a little bit more. And switching sides, taking hold of the right foot, drawing the knees together. Gently releasing. Well done for that workout. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be back tomorrow with a core and ab focus workout. See you then.